Yellow Perch, right? Coming up um, February, March, uh, local areas, uh, creeks, rivers, um, really fun fish to catch, really delicious on the skillet also. So going in, two of my favorite ways to catch them. All right, so we got two of my favorite techniques here. We got a float and fly rig and then a simple jig head with a plastic setup. So starting off with a jig head and the plastic, really simple stuff. Pretty much everyone knows how to do this. These are both from Z-Man. We have their uh, finesse uh, shroom jig heads. And then we have their tiny ticklers plastic. But these are going to work in conjunction together. You're just going to rig this little tiny ticklers plastic right onto the jig head. Just like that. Make sure it gets up on that hook keeper. Push it up. Z-Man plastic's really durable, but it can be a pain to rig. But just like that. Um, now with this rig, you can um, bounce it off the bottom. You can run it under a bobber if you'd like. Personally, my favorite technique is when it's really cold. I'm gonna just bounce that mushroom jig right off the bottom. And these, these little tentacles, if you wanna call them that, um, are just gonna create some commotion um, and get that white, or uh, sorry, yellow perch to uh, hit it. So, but you can use really any little plastic and little jig head. So moving on to a little bit more complicated rig, but definitely an effective one is going to be a float and fly rig. So coming from our rod, we're gonna have a piece of fluorocarbon or monofilament. I'm using a high vis line today so that you guys can see it. Uh, but obviously you'd be using clear for your leader material. Uh, anywhere from four to eight pound fluorocarbon or mono, like I said. So we're just going to tie this uh, little firefly jig right on the end. All right. A right, quick uni knot. Quick union knot, and then we're gonna have our bobber, right? So about two feet up the line. We're gonna clip the weighted part on first. So that's gonna be the bottom. And then we're gonna clip the top part. Right. So there you go. And that's how you rig your bobber, weighted weight towards your fly, and then this longer part towards your rod, right? So, like I said, about two feet, can't fit it on the frame, but um, this is very easy to work. Um, I like working it on the edge of grass lines or docks. Uh, you can just toss this in and kind of use little twitches, um, and you can pause this for a long time. Um, so yeah, you could tip this with uh, wax worm or grass shrimp, but very effective setup here.